Hi, this is Randy Martinez from IT Pros Management. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up two-factor authentication for your Office 365 account. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to enable two-factor authentication on an account so that we are then able to set up the two-factor authentication. This process is normally done by your global administrator or your Office 365 administrator, but we're going to go ahead and show you this. So the first thing is we're going to access the Office 365 Admin Center, and we're going to select the account that we are going to turn on two-factor authentication on. So the account we're going to select is the one right here, Randall Martinez. We're going to click on that. And we're going to select at the bottom where it says Manage Multi-Factor Authentication, which is two-factor authentication. We select that. Now we're going to find the account that we're going to turn it on. So again, we're going to select Randall Martinez. We select that. We enable it. Enable multi-factor authentication. Select that. And as you can see, updates successful. We close this out. And if we go back to the account, now you can see two-factor authentication has been enabled on this particular account. So now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to log in to this particular account so that we can now set up two-factor authentication on the account itself. So what we'll do is we'll go to office.com We're going to go ahead and sign in with the account that we enable two-factor authentication on. We're going to sign into this account. So you're going to get this reminder here, which is going to basically going to ask you for more information required. This is the two-factor authentication uh, setup process. So you will get this once your account has been enabled. So we'll go ahead and click on Next. So now you're going to get this screen. Now with Office 365, there are two different ways you can set up a two-factor authentication. One is using the Microsoft Authenticator app. And then the other way is if you choose, I want to set up a different method, you can select mobile device, SMS text messaging as it's known. Either one of those is fine. I'm going to show you how to set up both of them so that we have two different options, whether you want to set up the Microsoft Authenticator app on your mobile device, or if you want to just set it up using text messaging. So we're going to do the Microsoft Authenticator app first. So what you want to do is on this screen, you're going to click on Next. And then we're going to set Next also. You're going to get this QR code. So what you're going to do with this QR code is you're going to access the Microsoft Authenticator app on your device, and you can scan this QR code using your mobile device once you've installed the app and opened it. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So we've got our mobile device open. So now we're going to go to the App Store. We're going to look up or search for the Microsoft Authenticator app. There it is, second from the top. We select that. And in this particular case, I've already have the Authenticator app on this particular mobile device. But if you didn't, you would basically install it. The next thing we would do is once it's installed, you would click on Open. So to that, we've downloaded the Microsoft Authenticator app on our mobile device. We're going to go ahead and scan our QR code. So you want to select the plus sign, work or school account, and you're going to select scan QR code. We're going to bring it up to our QR code, our camera, scan that in. And now you can see that the account has been added to our Authenticator app. So if we select that particular account, you can see that it will generate a one-time passcode and that will cycle over and over again as you log in at different times. 
So now on our browser, we're going to go ahead and click Next. We're going to approve the sign-in. And now we've been set up. We click Next. It tells us the Authenticator app was successfully registered, and we click on Done. If you get this, I would always select no. You don't want to stay signed in. It's not a good idea. And now we're able to access our Office 365 account. So now that we've got our Office 365 Authenticator app set up on our mobile device, let's go ahead and go through the process of signing in and now that we're going to be able to use our two-factor authentication. So now we're going to go sign back into our Office 365 account. We're going to go ahead and put our password like we normally would be doing. Now, as you can see on our mobile device, we've gotten the approved to sign in. So at this point, we can select approve or deny. So in this case, we're going to approve because we do want to sign into our Office 365 account. And again, I recommend not staying signed in with your Office 365 account. And now we've confirmed that we are now able to log into our Office 365 account. We have two-factor authentication turned on. We're using the Microsoft Authenticator app on our mobile device to give us that second level of authentication to get into our account. So now our account is secure. We have a password and we have a second two-factor authentication that's gonna be coming to our mobile device. Next, I'm gonna show you how to set it up if you don't wanna use the Authenticator app and you just wanna use standard text message and SMS. Microsoft does recommend that you use the Authenticator app, but I do want to show you how to set it up just with standard uh, SMS text messaging where you get a code and you enter that code. So now we're going to go ahead and set up two-factor authentication using the text messaging feature instead of the Microsoft Authenticator application. So let's go ahead and log into an account. We're going to go ahead and enter our password here like we normally do. And here we're getting the familiar message requesting more information. This is showing us that two-factor authentication is trying to get set up. So let's go ahead and click on next. So here we're back to the same area where we're going to set this up. So this time, instead of using the Authenticator app, we're going to select this area down here to set up a different method. We click on that, click on the drop down, select phone, click confirm. Now we're going to go ahead and enter the mobile device number for the phone that we're going to be using to get our code. So we go ahead and put our number in. Make sure that text me a code is selected. We click on next and now we're going to wait for a code to come in on our phone. There's the code, so we're going to go ahead and enter that code. We click on Next. And now SMS has been verified and the phone has been successfully registered. We click on Next. Success. List our phone number there. We click on Done. And now we're accessing our account. So in this video, basically, we have set up two-factor authentication using the Microsoft Authenticator application, as well as the SMS text messaging feature. So our accounts are now secure by using either one of those two methods, but we do have two-factor authentication turned on. So make sure you're authenticating your accounts. You're setting two-factor authentication to keep your accounts secure. And uh, go ahead and give us a like and subscribe to our channel. 
If you like this, we're going to be producing additional videos in this genre to keep you guys secure and safe using Office 365. Thank you very much and have a great day.